Dear students, now we are going to learn the objectives of chapter 3, Theories of Employment and Income. Question number 1. Every able-bodied person who is willing to work at the prevailing wage rate is employed called as A. Full employment B. Underemployment C. Unemployment D. Employment opportunity The correct answer is A. Full employment Question number 2. Structural unemployment is a feature in a dash A. Static society B. Social society C. Dynamic society D. Mixed economy The correct answer is C. Dynamic society Question number 3. In disguise unemployment the marginal productivity of labor is dash a0 b1 c2 d positive the correct answer is a0 question number four the main consensus of the classical economic theory is dash a underemployment b economy is always in the state of equilibrium c demand creates its supply d imperfect competition the correct answer is b economy is always in the state of equilibrium question number five jb say is a dash a. Neoclassical Economist B. Classical Economist C. Modern Economist D. New Economist The correct answer is B. Classical Economist Question number 6. According to Keynes, which type of unemployment prevails in capitalist economy? A. Full employment B. Voluntary unemployment C. Involuntary unemployment D. Underemployment The correct answer is D. Underemployment Question number 7. The core of the classical theory of employment is dash A. Law of diminishing return B. Law of Demand C. Law of Markets D. Law of Consumption The correct answer is C. Law of Markets Question number 8. Keynes attributes unemployment to dash A. Lack of effective supply B. Lack of effective demand C. Lack of both D. None of the above The correct answer is B. A lack of effective demand Question number 9. Dash flexibility brings equality between saving and investment A. Demand B. Supply C. Capital D interest. The correct answer is D interest. Question number 10. Dash theory is a turning point in the development of modern economic theory. A. Keynes. B. Says. C. Classical. D. Employment. The correct answer is A. Keynes. Question number 11. The basic concept used in Keynes theory of employment and income is dash A. Aggregate demand. B. Aggregate supply. C. Effective demand. D. Marginal propensity to consume. The correct answer is C. Effective demand. Question number 12. The component of aggregate demand is dash a personal demand b government expenditure c only export d only import the correct answer is b government expenditure question number 13 aggregate demand is equal to dash a c plus i plus g b c plus s plus g plus x minus n c c plus s plus t plus x minus n d c plus s plus t plus rf the correct answer is d c plus s plus t plus rf Question number 14. Keynes theory pursues to replace laissez fair by dash A. No government intervention B. Maximum intervention C. State intervention in certain situation D. Private sector intervention The correct answer is C. State intervention in certain situation Question number 15. In Keynes theory of employment and income, dash is the basic cause of economic depression. A. Less production B. More demand C. Inelastic supply D. Less aggregate demand in relation to productive capacity. The correct answer is D. Less aggregate demand in relation to productive capacity. Question number 16. Classical theory advocates dash A. Balanced budget B. Unbalanced budget C. Surplus budget D. Deficit budget. The correct answer is A. Balanced budget. Question number 17. Keynes theory emphasis on dash equilibrium. A. Very short run B. Short run C. Very long run D. Long run. The correct answer is B. Short run. Question number 18. According to classical theory, rate of interest is a reward for A. In investment b demand c capital d savings the correct answer is d saving question number 19 in keynes theory demand for and supply of money are determined by a rate of interest b effective demand c aggregate demand d aggregate supply the correct answer is a rate of interest question number 20 says law stress the operation of dash in the economy a induced price mechanism b automatic price mechanism c induced demand d induced investment the correct answer is b automatic price mechanism thank you children